My name is Danny Faulkner. I'm an astronomer. I have my PhD from Indiana University. Uh, for many years, I was a professor at the University of South Carolina, Lancaster, where I taught physics and astronomy, but I left there. I, I actually took an early retirement in the uh, end of 2012 so that I could go work for Answers in Genesis. I've been there for since uh, January of 2013. I'm their staff astronomer. Well, as an astronomer and as a Christian, uh, I think back on my career and my interest. I've had an interest in astronomy in my entire life. I think uh, I'm doing exactly what God made me to do. Uh, when I was four years old, I was fascinated with the stars. And uh, I think when I look at the stars, I look through the telescope and I examine the photos we get from space probes and so forth. Uh, I, I first of all, I see the wonder and the beauty. I think everybody sees that. And I think that's the thing that really turned me on to astronomy to start with, just the fascination of what we see there and the wonder of it all. Uh, that's artistic, I think, and God is an artist, and you know, the heavens do declare God's glory. Uh, number two, I, as a scientist, I see the physics involved. I sometimes will show people uh, pictures of things, and I'll, I'll, I'll describe the physical mechanisms going on. We can talk about the emission going on, this, the atoms zipping up and down, and what's going on with each one of those. And um, uh, so I see the physics there as well. So we see the beauty, and we see the physics, and I think Unfortunately, the, 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 most people see the very first part, the, the beauty and the wonder and the awe. Scientists see that, but they also see the physics. But everybody seems to stop there. You know, I mentioned Psalm 19, the heavens declare the glory of God. And I think that really gives us the purpose of the, of the astronomical world around us. It's like a giant billboard uh, advertising God's existence. That doesn't tell us everything we need to know, but it tells us enough that we should start searching for these things. And I think that many people never reflect upon that. They, they, they simply see the physics, they see the beauty and the wonder, but they don't see the hand of the Creator behind. And if I could leave people with any one thing, is always look for the hand of the Creator. Don't, don't be satisfied with just the beauty and the wonder and even the physics. Look beyond that. What is the real message behind this billboard that God has displayed for us?